What is up, YouTube? What is up, YouTube.com? It's your boy, Ojama Gears, back with another video. In this video, I want to teach you how to become employable. This should be a really, really, really fast one, I think, because I don't think there's very many traits that you really need to focus on when becoming employable, except for a few, and I wrote them down. Then we'll talk about it a little bit, and then we'll go get you a job, okay? So with that being said, if you're new here, uh, my name is Ojama Garrett. I just want to, uh, I, I, I tried a lot of different things out, but I kind of just want to be a life coach type person, just help people solve issues. So if, if you uh, value daily content of me trying to create uh, content that's going to help you become a better person, then this is the place for you. Um, with that being said, let us uh, get right into it, uh, how to become employable. Real quick before we jump into the video, I just want to point out this uh, concept called healthy user bias, and it's something that was brought up in a debate on Joe Rogan about paleo versus veganism, and they were pointing out how healthy user bias is a bias that if you are attempting to become more healthy, you are going to be more biased towards things with perceived uh, health benefits. So I'm not saying it in a negative. Normally when you hear the word bias, you think of a negative, but no, what I'm saying is, is that the first step is to just continue to obsess over trying to become more employable because you can then use that same psychology of the healthy user bias to apply it to the same strategy. It, it's like whatever you hone your focus in on, you will do more of because you just, you deter, you're more determined for that outcome. So just really just keep looking at more information. Don't stop with my video. So that is just the healthy user bias, but the, the employability bias. So just, just think about that. Whoop. Okay. Easy peasy. How to become employable. There's pretty much like three main things that I think you just need to really harp down on. And I don't want to like blow this into a huge video or anything like that. But uh... okay, so when we're talking about employability, we're talking about a specific set of traits that are common among people, I believe. So it's not necessarily like, okay, how to become employable, go to college and get every single degree. No, I mean, yes, that's going to that's gonna be one type of thing. But uh, the, the main thing that employers, from my experience, I had multiple different jobs uh, over 15, about 13 to 15 years in the labor force now. Uh, your employability is a basic set of uh, attitudes, essentially, and other things. As you can see from my list here, it's pretty easy to really uh, nail them down. But the number one is experience. So if you have experience doing anything, let's say, for instance, you get a job when you're 14 years old, and then you work at that, you, you just continue to work until you're 34, 20 years without being unemployed is going to give you experience being employed and the major the major contributor to that employability is just going to be trust 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 everything is trust so if you have a certain set of skills or whatever that's one thing but if you have trust then you have an upward trajectory through whatever career you want to get into wherever level whatever level you're at if you are trustworthy you will scale up. You will go up from wherever you're at. As long as you continue to be trustworthy, you will scale up. But you get a lot of trust. Like trust, it's hard to prove trust. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Trust is number one, but how do you get trust? That's why I said experience is what I'm saying here. So then number two is being teachable and coachable. That kind of comes when, like, you can't really do that in an interview. But when you get your job, like the first, like, I want to say crap test, the first rigor you're going to get read through is uh, they're probably going to, see if you're teachable or coachable or whatever with your trainer that's why you normally get put with a trainer and this is your opportunity to show that the best way to be teachable and coachable is to really just beat yourself up a lot of people say to be proud of yourself and really whatever i suggest you do the opposite beat yourself up and say apologize often say i don't know what i'm doing uh you know please you know be patient with me i want to really learn this uh can you or you know ask questions like can you show me that again i'm not quite confident like if you feel an anxiety about something ask you know, be teachable, be coachable, and that's going to make you more employable because then you're going to be looked at as a team player, somebody who's like not coming into a show thinking they know everything, think they run the place. And then the third thing I think is going to mainly make you employable is just if you get a job and make like become uh, what's really going to give you probabilities of being employed by other businesses is that they, you just essentially just shut the shut the crap up, shut the heck up, shut the hell up uh, forever. Like, don't like, it's just, this is the simplest way I could say it is because you don't want to be involved in drama. And if you just don't talk, you're not going to be involved in any sort of drama or anything like that. And it's not necessarily saying like, be like a monk or anything and not talk, but like, just don't be, no, don't, um, if like, you know, you're going to get, you're going to come into these points where like people are going to share information with you that shouldn't have been sharing information with you, like managers to you. And again, the, the, that will feed back into trust here is that if you just, uh, be quiet and don't tell anybody about the hot juicy gossip you got 
you're going to be more employable because you're going to be more trustworthy. Now, I kind of want to tax some other things out because I feel like, because I this will do it. This is like your top three. And you know, like for most people, like no matter what your skill is, you can be a doctor. And if you do these three things, they're going to make you more employable. Like you do the opposite of like, if you have no experience, you're not going to be employable. If you're not trustworthy, you're not going to be employable. If you're not teachable or coachable, you're not going to be employable. Uh, if you don't, if you're not silent, you're yapping all the time. You're going to be not employable. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who you are. You could be like anyone. You could have the cure for cancer, but nobody gives a shit if you're right. If you're an asshole, essentially. These are the same, like these are the main threes. Like when I when I sat down, I saw the question. I just really just really thought about it. These are the top three because they all in some ways feed into trust. Being teachable and coachable feeds into trust because also too that uh, you are. You are showing that you're trustworthy by trusting in others and stuff like that. Reciprocating trust between, like trusting by showing that you're willing to trust others and they're more willing to trust you. So that other little things I could think of would be like uh, things that helped me specifically was just like uh, being in being in shape, such as lifting weights, running, doing whatever. And then another thing would be like interested, seem interested, seem genuine. Uh, be uh, everybody says the word authentic now doesn't really mean anything, but um, kindness. I don't know. Acting like high in moral regard. So like being in shape is good for just like employable because then you are like coming in like just being ready to go. Uh, ready to like it, it just signals you're ready to take on a, like a, a problem. That's what that one. So that one's kind of the only physical thing I think physical thing I can think of that would make you more employable just in general. And I think that's just like a very easy thing for people to do. That's also what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get too hung up on specifics here because I just want you guys to have general things to just work on every day. So like super basic concepts that you can just like get up in the morning and be like, okay, I, I can be more genuine. How can I be more genuine? How can I be more kind? How can I be more interested? These types of things. How can I uh, shut the hell up more? How can I uh, be more teachable? How can I be more coachable? How can I have more experience? How can I show that I'm more trustworthy? These are the types of things that I think you should be thinking about if you want to become more employable, if you want to become more of a better person. Essentially, instead of change employable, change the word employable to just how to become a better person. And if you become a better person, you're just going to become more uh, employable. So with that being said, thank you for sticking it out with me. I hope this was quick. Hopefully it was informative. Hopefully kind of like if you if it, it seems kind of like no brainer type stuff to me. So hopefully at least it reinforced you uh, in some thoughts that you were having, some intuitions that you were having, and I could just kind of feed whatever. And uh, now... If you enjoy this content, please leave a like, whatever, you know, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. But more, more like what I'm looking for uh, from putting videos out and stuff is like, I want to, I want to personally help people. Uh, so if you have any personal experiences or something that you personally need advice on or something to work on or something I can research or make content just built around, I would really, really, really like to do that. So just leave me that down below if you uh, get this far. So that being said, I'll uh, catch you later. I say that being said a lot. So uh, have a good day.